lesson, a review of yesterday. When we started working with place value, we started with a math that looks something like this. Okay? Over here we have one's place. one's place, okay? And what's the greatest number, the greatest digit that can be in the one's place? Nine. Nine. It's the greatest digit that will fit, because there's only room for nine, nine digits. Okay? What is this? A decimal point. A decimal point. We're not going to worry about him today, but he will come around sooner or later. Okay? How do we get from the ones place to the tens place? We have to, we have to take regroup over. Okay? All right. Well, yesterday we started working with two-digit addition, and we had to decide whether we were going to take regroup or not. All right? So we're going to keep working on that today. Hudson, give me a two-digit number. Twenty. 20. Okay. All right. Well, this is a good one to start with. 20. So I put 20. And Helena, a one-digit number. Nine. Nine. Gosh, I thought you were going to trick me. Okay. So they've given me 29. Well, 20 plus 9. Well, 20 looks like that, right? Mm -hmm. Two tens and zero ones. Okay? So now, I have, I'm adding nine ones. Am I going to have to regroup? No. No? Why not? Because I have enough room. Okay, because I have plenty of room. I have plenty of room. I have more than enough room to fit all of the ones into the ones place. So what is the sum of 20 plus nine? 29. 29. 29. We use our zero rule. We put the 9 in place of the 0 because we started with 0 to hero in the 1's place. And we add nothing to 2. So we have a sum of 29. Okay, well we're going to start this time. We're going to add on to 29. Okay? Now, if I already have 9 in the 1's place, what do you predict I'm going to have to do if I add anything? to 29. Regroup. regroup. Caleb? Yeah, regroup. So Kayla, why don't you give me a single digit number? <coughs> um, eight. Eight. Okay, if I want to add eight to 29, well, I'm showing on my math 29, right? Two tens, nine ones. I have a bit of a problem, don't I? <laughs> There's no way I'm going to get eight more ones That's 17. into I'll just line them up here. Two, three, uh -oh. four, uh -oh. yeah, uh-oh. Five, six. Yeah, they're going to cross this highway. Seven. Well, they're going to get ran over. We're pretending they're just there, waiting at the door to get it, in. It's hard to get them all right there. Okay. So there's my eight, two, four, six, eight. And I want to put eight in here. Well, that problem. We could, we have seven, I'm going to have to regroup, aren't I? So you have to okay, so I could, I guess, move all these out and move these in. But I don't really need to do that. If I know I don't have room, why don't I just start making my group of ten with the ones I'm adding? Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Oops. Oh! Except for that one. Let's get that one up here. Oops. Uh, Come on, little ones. One. 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 Okay, well I need how many more? Two. Two, two more to make a ten. So I put my two more in there. Okay, now that group of ten is ready. So I really have ten up here on the launching pad, right? Yes. Okay, notice how when I started, I drew myself some clues. Okay? I made myself a ones place and a tens place, and a launching pad and a landing pad. Okay, that helps me remember to show my work. Because remember, we're trying to make sure to show our work, even though we can do this in our head now because of number talks. We want to be able to show our work. So I know that this ten is going to come over here, but it's not ten anymore, is it? No, no. Now it's not a hundred. It's 110. Okay, so this little 10 here is no longer a group of 10. It's now on its way. Let's see if I can get them selected today. Yes, they didn't want to work for me. 
And it's going to come over on regroup. Can it move in as ten separate ones? Yeah, no, no, no. It has to group up. Yeah, it has to turn into one ten. Okay. So what's left in the ones place? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And how many tens? One plus two tens, or three tens. Okay? Today, we're going to practice regrouping. We're going to practice using the sheets I gave you yesterday.